Today's video is being brought to you by NeverDenyMe.com. Make sure you take a look at the website for all your graphic needs. Anything from digital to physical. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Nate Matthews from NeverDenyMe.com. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and I hope you enjoy what you're about to see. If you do, make sure you hit the thumbs up button before you get up out of here and hopefully you end up subscribing to this page before you leave as well. I do have another machine in that box over there to allow me to be uh, creative and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys stay tuned and check out and see what that is and see what I made. Today's project is going to be another patch, man. I have a, a long like backlog of videos that I've made or patches and stuff that I've made. And it, it's really hard for me to try to get to it because I need time to sit there and edit these videos. However, the orders keep coming in. So, I mean, I'm putting y'all orders first before I do the edit on the video and stuff like that. But thank y'all for shopping with me, right? So this is the design that was sent to me, right? It's a little baby with a bottle, money in his hand, a little quote and stuff right there, right? Now, after discussing this uh, design with the client, uh, we decided that, hey, if we take off the little speech bubble right there, the design can actually be a little bit bigger to fill in a four inch space. So he agreed to that, and this is the results of what we were uh, able to digitize. So I think it came out clean, again, from the design right there, and then this being the result. One of the only things that I don't have an answer to on my website, but actually I do have an answer just not on the website, is how long does it take to get your design? So I normally just say designs are completed the same day. Uh, normally it kind of takes me like an hour or so, but it, it really just depends on the design. If you want a five by seven design that has 10 million colors and it's very complex, it might take me a little bit longer. Uh, also, if you, even if you were to send me a very easy design, you don't know that I might have you know six people ahead of you in line waiting on a design. Sometimes people do that. They're repeat customers and they come back to me. They say, hey, he does a good job. So I'm just going to send them five designs at once. Just get them to me when you can. So they might send me five complex designs. You some might send me an easy Easy one but because they submitted theirs first I'm gonna you know kind of get to there so some of you guys even might try to send me a uh, like a file and stuff like that at one o'clock in the morning if I just so happen to be up and have some type of energy I'm gonna jump over to my workstation and get to work right then and there and you might wake up to it in the morning with the uh, the proof of your design other times I'm gonna sleep my whole eight nine hours through and then I'm gonna wake up and check the order form and I'm gonna get to it and you might be third in line for that day so you might end up having to wait 14 hours while I sleep wake up and stuff like that um, but yeah that's all I wanted to say so let's go ahead and get started showed you guys the design I always do this off camera now pretty much i just hooped my uh stabilizer here into the hoop we'll go ahead and connect it to the machine here and if we zoom in this is what it looks like right there so again this design does have quite a few colors of thread that we're going to be using in this one design is using all these colors so uh let's go ahead and get to work all right so i'm gonna go ahead and press ok on the machine Selecting it, edit in, keep everything the same. We're not gonna touch nothing, right? And then we're going to be using our uh, fabric right here. So go ahead and toss this on top and we're gonna be stitching on this. You just poke the whole bunch of dots to let me know where I need to place my fabric, right there. So this is gonna be the size of the patch. So let's go ahead and put it back in. Here it is, this should be a large enough piece, I hope. Now that we have that, we'll go ahead and get our applique scissors right here, and we're going to remove the fabric that's on the outside of our border there, and we'll get rid of it. So now we're going to go ahead and pop this back into the machine, and I'll show you guys a close-up when I get to a longer part. These parts are going to be stitching so quick. By the time I grab the camera off and hold it, it's going to be done with already. And I believe now we're all done with this color. Nothing too fancy, right? But just in case y'all want to follow along, the bottom in the corner right there. That's the part that's on right there. A nice, uh, very dense feel. So even though this design is using a lot of colors, with this being a four inch design, it's just gonna use a little bit of all these colors to, you know, pretty much build this design up. But it's not gonna use a lot of any one color at all. But I'll pop, nah, I ain't gonna pop it out. 
I don't want to mess up the bobbin or that's something else I advise for you guys to do. If you see that your design is not stitching out correctly or that, you know, the bottom thread is showing up on top and you know, you have it, you know, everything set up correctly. Try just changing the bobbin out because sometimes it could be the bobbin. I don't buy any like pre wound bobbins or nothing. I do it myself here on the machine with the little, you know, the bobbin winder, but sometimes, you know, one just gets wound up bad. It's probably started off bad or it catches on something and then the whole, the whole entire bobbin is just bad. So. Just use a replacement one and you should be fine. That's what's been working for so me. So don't worry, y'all didn't miss too much. Even though I didn't show you guys the zoom in, there's the money right there. And there's the bottle over there. We all good. Now we shall continue. This is the part that I said is going to take a little minute now. 12 minutes for the uh, skin tone. And we do have dark brown thread right here. So let's load it up. moments of the design the part that can either make it or break it uh, three minutes and here it is as you guys can see right there it's just gonna do a black outline around every single part of this design to make them stand out a little bit more this is what we have so far it's looking real clean this is what I uh, you know thought it was gonna come out like so let's just hope this last piece of black thread does not mess it up fingers crossed guys and by the way thumbs up the video if you like what you've seen so far and uh, again subscribe to the channel So this is the final result of what we went ahead and stitched out again i'll throw it up on screen of the uh before shot and the after what we were able to do with it as you guys can see to me it came out just like the image exactly what i sent to the client and told him it was going to be matches the uh, actual design that he sent me as well white border in the background let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment below if you guys want me to do something like this with one of your designs. You know the website to go to, neverdenyme.com. Uh, all links are going to be in the description below. Questions, info, the order form, everything on the website. Get the info down below. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.